All right, so obviously earlier, Michael, you were talking to us about where hip hop came from and it came mm. from a place of social commentary mm. and obviously also from a place of struggle uh, within, within small communities, obviously, well, within communities. Do you think that hip hop can be used to make a difference in these communities as well as being a symptom of some of the things that, are, that need to be changed? Do you think it can be used to make positive change? Well, I think, because um, essentially it started in the, in the black community and within the black community, there's a lot of oppression that they were feeling in, in, in America. That's where that's where it come from, that's where it's born. And tracks like, you know, from Public Enemy and uh, certain artists like that, I think it can have a positive impact, but again, it's to do with the commercialization of these tracks and they're not really, they're not commercially viable. So they're not never gonna get the amount of money pumped into them as all these other commercial tracks, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like, it could, have a real good positive change like you know like music from Bob Marley and Jimi Hendrix and all these people big stars like you know yeah 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 I'm um, talking positive positivity it can have a social change and it can um, get rid of barriers between different communities you know what I'm saying because mm -hmm. I mean when I done a film about um, the origins of dub plate um, the origins of dubstep and bass culture in this country I learned that in the 70s when Bob Marley and that was coming out it helped bridge that gap between these two different communities because both white people and black people love this music so they were both going to dances at a time when it was quite segregated as far as like mm -hmm. black people in Bristol couldn't go into town because they would get attacked by the National Front or you know um, teddy boys and things like that so it can it, it has proven that it can change it can change people's social conscious yeah. so I think yeah it can work okay that's yes yeah, so positive still mm. all right um what about like on a on a kind of <coughs> local level when we talk about politics mm. would you say political or not hip-hop artists again coming from black communities for, uh, you know obviously hip-hop again being born from a place of struggle mm. do you think they have a responsibility as hip-hop artists to put back into the community that's birthed to that culture um or not i mean me personally i think yeah they mm. do but the way hip hop is sort of locally in Bristol, it's not the sort well, globally of really, isn't it? The way it is this well, globally. The, main, the main the mainstream of it globally is just like everyone's just trying to do the opposite, just to get in mm -hmm. with the crowd, isn't it? Yeah, to make that money, yeah. I heard that. They just feel that when they put all them when they put all their energy, all their work into something positive, they just feel it's not gonna get the right audience, the right mm -hmm. amount of numbers, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's not like cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not, not cool. something that everybody people... wants to be bad. Yeah, yeah, you're saying there is there is what on the other hand the we had kind of in terms of trends, isn't it? Mm. Some people might like hopping on the trends. We had mm. like the game or a whole load of artists when um, obviously the verdict on Mike Brown was passed. They had uh, they hopped on on a on a massive remix track, isn't it? Mm, 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 and mm. that was kind of a lot of mainstream artists getting on that. So mm. do you think that's kind of a a sign of maybe a reemergence and becoming more cool, or is that just a sign of a passing trend, you know, kind of Twitter hashtag? It could, be a, bit, it could be a bit of both. It could be to show that they have a conscious side to them, to show mm. they're supporting it, and the other could just be just so they can promote their next mixtape, mm. just so they can get in with the crowd, didn't it, man? It could mm -hmm. be one or the other, man. But yeah. I read the artists more like they actually speak about it, like David Banner, like, you know, real artists mm -hmm. like, will actually come and discuss it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. There's a difference because so they're not just saying it's just a song. This is a song. We just jump down. It's like, nah, this is what it is. Yeah. We're tired. Look what our people's going through. Yeah. Let's do something about it. Because if you notice what's happening now in America right now, what's going on with the with the whole police brutality thing, like you know, what I mean yeah. that, and that's getting people artists talking about it. That's getting it's becoming more on the lips of what people are discussing. But is it necessarily gonna break through and be commercialized? I doubt it. And so mm -hmm. because that's not gonna happen. It's not going to get power, man. Yeah, it's people not going to get that massive appeal. They need to change it up, innit? And then, yeah. But they're not going to. I mean, the people, the so-called people that are pulling the strings, they're not. They're not looking to. Uh, <laughs> they're, not, <laughs> they're not looking to. Control. They're not going to make money. Off yeah, that, they're yeah. not going to make money off yeah. it. So it's a business, and a lot of people don't understand that Until hip hop is now a business. It. It's, it's the biggest. It's like the biggest form of popular music at the moment. It has been for a good ten years now. So yeah. Hip hop today is not even hip hop. True. Yeah, exactly. What I mean, they put up there is not even hip hop. Yeah, you got you got different. It's 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 sold differently. It's been re. It's almost being rebranded. It, it yeah. has been rebranded. Yeah. Basically. How is my nigga, my nigga? <laughs> How is that hip hop? Yeah, well, I mean, it's hip hop because of the music, isn't it? The music itself, the rapping, but the components. What's hip, hip hop when it first started? What did hip hop? In, sound? Terms, well, of, in terms of content, you mean, isn't it? Content and instruments. What well, hip hop was? Well, I mean, yeah. essentially, it was all about you know peace and love and having fun. That's what it was all about. That's essentially yeah. what what hip hop like African Bamba, the Zulu Nation, the people that sort of are are, are credited with 
bringing this culture out in the clubs and that in America is it comes from a socially conscious group of people like the yeah. Zulu Nation. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? There was a lot of corporations back then. A lot of a lot of um, media corporations back then. They all had their own their own things running. Then like what over the decade, couple of decades, they just merged down from say sixty to flipping six. Mm, mm, so it's just mm. like within all that time, that one person just got the needle and injected the poison. It's like, mm, mm. and now it's just. I mean, it's a systematic. I mean, it's someone's business. So, like, if you look at the way you can actually make money off music, uh, it's from. It's all about distribution. So, like, Basically. there's no, there's no sort of conscious distribution outlets for artists. It's all going through the right. same machine. But right. look at what Immortal Tech is doing. Yeah, I mean, you got you got individual artists that are independent, mm -hmm. but again, because of their independence, they're not making that massive global impact that would be needed to change people's they're not getting the consciousness. Distribution. They're not getting yeah, that distribution. Yeah. They're, they're, they're doing getting, their thing, but... And they're not getting marketed up there. They're not being promoted. And is there any, kind of, there any kind of feasible solution for that? Or, or I mean, is there any feasible opinion? solution? The only feasible is, solution... I'm not going to ask you to solve it's it. A, it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a suicide. That's what it's suicide. So if you are an artist and you know what exactly is going on and you realise this is the game and this is how you got to play it, play the game and then obviously whilst you have free time, write your real shit, mm. record it, just stack it like Tupac mm, or something like yeah. that and then when you're ready to just make that, once you've got the whole mass watching you, it's on you to just drop yeah. it but just realise it comes with the consequence because they're not playing upstairs, they really don't want someone to mm. outspeak and let everyone know but that is the only solution I can see unless the game changes itself. But you've become that, like yeah. a spy, yeah. some undercover. Like Lil Wayne, Lil yeah, Wayne's yeah, leaving yeah. cash money and apparently I heard he's going to Zulu Nation, like if that really mm. happens then I'm so just like yo, I want it all, It's all about money and it's like yeah. if in order, to, in order for that to change then the money would have to change. And yeah. it slowly has started to change because they haven't got so much of a no monopoly on. They can't make so much money from selling records. Yeah, of course. So Digital. like, it's more like or YouTube. Yeah, you got yeah. you got different avenues. So there is potential for the industry to be sort of redefined. Yeah. But the people with the money, the artists with the money, they're not. That's not their. That's not their forte right now. Unless we see a, a, an authentic distribution outlet mm -hmm. for this sort of music, I don't think nothing will change. Okay, so distribution is probably the main issue, you mm. reckon, in terms of getting that political music out there. A couple of artists really end up eating off that. Any Only a couple of artists. Like, probably like Dizzy, like yeah. the one you could Dizzy. really say. And Dizzy, I mean, uh, I, I rate Dizzy because as soon as he could, he got out of that and started his own thing, yeah, started right. his own That's label, and he had it. a couple of number ones on that label, so he, he essentially is that independent part there but mm. apart from that I mean that whole industry of grime what happened to that I mean who's yeah. really got control of that who's running that who's putting the, it all goes back to where the money is isn't it? I feel that all right yeah I want to bring it back to something that you said earlier still talking about <coughs> um, outside of the music yeah. so obviously you have some artists talking outside of the music do you think that's certain that artists should be doing again kind of on a smaller level and not just artists but fans as well fans of hip-hop as well who are fans of political hip-hop as well who want to try and change what can they do outside of just buying the music is there anything they can do on a small on a smaller level, you know, is it in terms of maybe organising protests, getting involved in, you know, writing manifestos. Yeah, that would be great, but organising protests, like, you know, the police yeah. are going to get involved, that's just like a no-no. You know what I'm saying? As far as the artist just speaking the truth and speaking to the people on a level, that is a lot of respect. There's a lot of respect in that, because a lot of artists don't do that. It's a show. When you play, when you play a CD, that's a show. That's their thing, isn't it? You know, like, that's their character, the alter ego. What are they, like, offset? Some artists are just mm. stiffed on the chat. Some artists are very well-spoken. If you think about a lot of the artists that have... That, 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 if you think about a lot of the hip-hop artists that do hip-hop, how many of them do speak? And when they do get interviewed, what are they talking about? Are they just promoting themselves? Are they talking about... Uh, uh, what can happen? Are they talking about what can be done? Are they talking about um, helping their communities? Like I personally think that they shouldn't write. I mean, they shouldn't start doing protests and stuff like that for their own safety. Unless if they could and it was legit, then yeah. But I personally think all they can literally do is keep spreading messages throughout their music and keep it real in interviews. But there's only mm. so much you can say because, like you know, mm. Ice T did say you're free to say what you want to say, but watch what you say. Mm. So like, I respect every artist. Like you know, back in the days when I found out a lot of stuff, I thought, nah, they were sellouts. Like look at them all. Like they were lying to get money, but at the end of the day, like they knew what it is. Like as long as you're going into, the, if, as long as you're going into the game, you're getting your change, you're living, you're nice, and you're putting something back. That's good because mm. realistically, you want a better other life, it's not just your life. If you're gonna sacrifice something and make a lot you might as well better other lives. You can't just do it mm. for yourself, man. The world's too big for that, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. What I'd say is uh, people outside of hip-hop and that, as far as like fans, people that listen, people that uh, set up, run some of the business stuff around yeah. hip-hop, the music industry, I'd say they'd need to 
learn about cult cultural appropriation. They need to learn about that, how, you know, that's been going on within some, you know, so-called black music that's been going on since rock and roll. And it's still going on today. So they need to learn about that, they need to learn about racism, white supremacy, because this is another thing which fueled hip hop. Sure, it yeah. fueled the beginnings of hip hop, so they need to learn about that. Mm. They need to learn about the, uh, the the old school artists, the you know the African bambas, the 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 um, public enemies. They need to learn about those people as well, so they can have a better understanding about the actual culture and the sort of the backdrop of it. So I mean, if, I think if you if you learn those three things, then I think your perception your perception and your perspective of hip hop will, will be different, and I think it will be different for the better. Okay. That's deep. Alright, I like that still. That was a good chat, man. That's all the questions I want to ask you. Anything else you guys want to talk about? In terms of political hip hop in Bristol, maybe, you know, or just on a general level? I just um I just think like, yeah, the whole white supremacy thing's deep. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just like <clears throat> trying to cry, but I, I find it upsetting how as brothers, yeah, we're not unified like how we should be. Do you know what I'm saying? The only time we're unified is when there's lights and cameras on, and man's just like, yo, yo, I get this, yo, 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 what's up, man? Fuck hoes, fuck this shit, man. Y'all niggas ain't shit, we got money. You know what I'm saying? And for a young kid to see a brother, an older brother, you know what I'm saying, looking nice, you know what I'm saying, got things, it's gonna motivate them and inspire them to be like that. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't see brothers like we seen 40 years ago when the civil rights was going on, or the Black Panther was going on, where every man suited up and everybody knows what they're talking about. You know, we're not unified. There's other cultures from diff there's other cultures, people from different backgrounds that are unified here in Britain. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. from different religions. You know what I'm saying? So you got people in Islam, people in Christian, all these different religions, but especially the foreigners, like the people that come from other countries, not British. Like they are unified in so many ways, and I feel that we aren't unified and there's a reason as to why we're not unified, you know what I'm saying? So it upsets me when I see that, but I can't do nothing about it. We all have to do something about that and work together um, economically, we have to socialise more and we literally have to pass down what we learn to the youngest, man. That's what we need to do because we need to grow into something because right now we just go around in circles and there's only a few of us that are actually trying to get to the top, that are actually trying to pull everything together, but you know what I'm saying? Not everyone's pulling it together, man. And today it's not even about a race thing to be real Jews, rich versus poor poor versus rich but you know that like, we're all in the same category but at the same time we're still below that category because we're still not one with each other mm -hmm. as well as fit into the category we're all as one if that makes sense you know what yeah, I'm saying? you so gotta love yourself before you love anyone else you gotta love yeah. yourself before you love someone else you gotta love your people man yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. so that um, we, we gotta learn in it we gotta learn to love ourselves because of the because of the way it's been battered into us that yeah man we, we don't support shit. each other man it's just like yo man you gonna get this job interview? Nah, I'm gonna get that. Ain't no way he's gonna get that and he's gonna be buying them trainers before me, you mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but deep, man. Very deep, 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 deep. Yeah, Bless, man. Bless, man. Appreciate you guys chatting.